Hey guys, it's Heather, and I thought I would just do a quick uh, catch-up vlog, okay? So, I don't even know the date. What is the date today? Today is July 19th. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I did yesterday receive um, a couple of my boxes from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Please excuse the hair. It has been raining. Well, it's been raining every day, not all day long every day, but raining every day. And the humidity has been <laughs> out of control. It's like breathing soup outside. So um, I've not had a chance to really swim. I did keep my granddaughter a couple of days last week. So I didn't, I didn't film anything. I just spent the day with her other than having to work. But when I wasn't working, it was just a matter of playing with her. And we did get some swim time in. I actually taught her a couple of new, um, things I learned on swim team and which were actually very difficult to reteach. So I don't know how I was taught. Anyway, I thought first, um, my daughter gets the Ipsy bag and I signed up underneath her. I haven't had an Ipsy and I thought that I would take a peek cause she's been getting some really cute things. And so I signed up under her to give her a little extra. I think this is the glam, uh, Ipsy glam bag plus. And I did add a couple of add-ons. I guess that's what it is, but in this cute bag, look at that, it says stay golden. So let's take a peek and see what we have. I did, um, there are a few things that I ordered in the Nordstrom sale that I am not gonna be showing when I do my uh, try on and stuff, simply because some of them are for gifts and some of those people watch. Oh, and that's my daughter. <laughs> Never fails, does it? Okay, she's headed to the vet with Cade just for his annual, for his annual shots and all that. All right, so this, I believe, is the Ipsy Glam Bag. Um, it says, stay golden. This month, everything you touch is turning to gold. God, I hope so. Dust on your favorite highlight, pat on a shimmer shadow, and let the world see you shine. Get in this month's theme at uh, ipsy.com, stay golden, for July 2021. And it's got all directions for one of these items. Now, I do, I do think I added a couple add-ons, so I'm not sure which ones came with this or whatever. Um, but what I'm curious about is this Patrick T.A. I don't, Patrick I'm assuming it says for face. She's seductive. What is it? Velvet. Oh, it's a velvet blush. It's a blush. I think and see react. I, windows are on that side of my house. So all you see is a reflection. Patrick Ta, right? Blush. Oh, that's really pretty. That is really, really pretty. So this is called She's Seductive. So can you see? Woo. Let's see, I've tried to put a little on my hand here. It's very light. I like that. I think that's gonna look nice this fall too. That's really, really pretty. All right, I did get some little brushes. Um, these are the Supermodel Sculpt by MOTD, I guess. I don't know. They have the little, um, let's see, let's just pull it this way. Ooh, look at that, watch. Yee. How crazy does that look? Oh, they're really soft. I wonder, I guess they're synthetic, right? This is the bronzer brush. This is the sculpt brush. And this is the get cheeky, cheeky with it. So, okay, it's slightly angled there. That's pretty. And I haven't really had time to wash my brushes, so I just need to have like a dirty container and a clean container. And then when I have nothing else clean, just then I have to wash them all. All right, I don't know what this is. This is by Tarte. It's the Jelly Glaze. Awesome. Oh, it's a lip mask. It's a lip mask. And it's in the color Toasted Coconut. The puppies are out. Two of the dogs are on the back porch because it was finally not raining. And Dexter, the puppy puppy, the little one who's five and a half months old, can open the back door. Let's see. Let's take a peek. You hear him? This See the little color on the outside of that a little bit. Ooh, I'm getting all that feels good. Doesn't taste like anything. I wonder if this has like a um upgrade your glam bag, shipped X upgrade. Dexter, not right now. Are you ready for August? Introducing glam bag X. Oh, is that say a fallacy? I don't know. Dexter, oh my goodness, let's go take a peek real quick and then we'll finish this in a second. 
What are you guys doing? Is that Jackson Dexter? Can you say hi? You want to come? You want to come in? He's a noisy boy. He is a... He likes to hear himself. Um, he whines. He. We're trying to train some of that out of him, but it's... Yeah, he's a whiner. The other two are quiet. Anyway, I was saying, introducing Glam Bag X Halsey, I guess. Upgrade to Glam Bag X, shipped quarterly, and unleash your inner artist. I don't know what that means. Rule-breaking beauty, iconic brands, get in before it's gone. Um, it says that February and May's bags went fast. Sign up as soon as possible to snag eight full-size faves. You choose three, worth up to $500 for only $55. Not bad. So this is a bronzing 101. All right, let's just finish looking at what the rest of this is. Pink about me, oh, and I just put lip stuff on. This is a lip gloss as well. Oh, it is absolutely my color. Absolutely, it's called Mented. Who is this from? Mented pink about me. I'll just put this on my arm or my hand here. Oh, it's very, very soft. See right there? I like that. That'd be a good one to throw in my bag for kind of a gloss, but not really anything on there. And then I think one of these I added to it. I just can't remember what's what. So let's just take a peek in here. And this is Hip Dot Sun Goddess Four Shade Face Palette. You're a sun goddess, even if you haven't spent time in the sun lately. Create the ultimate sun kiss with these four highlight blush shades and soft blendable formula. Oh, I guess it's... <laughs> there we go. That's... All right, so we have, let's pull that over. They've got four different colors. We have Sunbeam, Golden Hour, Radiance, and Sheer. So what are these? Highlight and blush shades. So that's got to be these must be the blushes and these must be the highlights here. Yeah, that's the, the um, sheer one. That's pretty. Those are pretty. And then last but not least, she says your eyes only. Open up this one. Half caked. I don't think I added this to, I think I might have added that. I think I added something, maybe not. Nine pigment palette, your eyes only. Ooh, I just dropped the thing. Those are pretty too. So I guess this one's called, oh, it goes from this way. Disk space, set it off, X-Files, AO technology, two on, an okay computer, digital get down, payload, payload <laughs> and buffering. They're a little bright for me, so that might be something that I gift. Um, I'm, I'm definitely not going to be wearing something this color. I wish I could. I actually love, love this middle row. Actually, I like both of these rows. This, this row is a little bit too dark. But I think I might just hold off on that one and give that away. Or I've been starting to work on some Christmas things. So maybe put in for one of my daughters or my daughter-in-law or something. So, But that was my first Ipsy Plus, I think, was what it was. And I thought it was really good. So that was fun. That was fun. Thank you, Emily. So today I worked this morning. Um, I worked all weekend long. It was a very busy weekend. And thankfully, while we were outside working, it didn't rain. And as soon as we got home, it poured down rain. So it worked out well. Um, I have been trying to do some reading. I just recently found this new um, author. Her name is Jennifer Weiner. And this is the first one. I'm only a few, a little bit into it, but I'm already loving how she writes. So I picked this one up called Big Summer. And I picked up a couple others that I found on that were cheaper on Amazon. So I got the Mrs. Everything and this one's in hardback that summer. This one's not available in soft in um, paperback until April of next year, I think. And I don't want to wait that long. So I've been really trying to not watch as much YouTube um, and, and kind of get out of my headspace. Things have been very chaotic in my world for the last couple of months and just find some downtime that's not necessarily digital. So, I mean, I need to stay off my phone a little bit more, but Indigo's sitting here right with me. 
But so I guess to update, most of you know what went on with Emily. And if not, just check out her channel. Hey, y'all, it's Emily. Um, and, you know, I've been was spending a lot of time with her. She hung out with Sophia and I last week. We had a great time together and just trying to, we're all trying to heal from that. Um, Adam and I have been working very hard with our new business. Um, we are expanding our business. We, it's, it's gotten bigger, quicker than we ever anticipated. And we're actually about to get a storefront. We're in the, uh, at the final uh, ne lease negotiations for the property. And then we should take possession of the property I want to say beginning of August and start moving in and hopefully our retail location will be open sometime this fall. It's going to take a couple of months to get everything up and running, um, but it's growing really fast. It is still um, just us. My daughter does work with us um, from time to time. We will be hiring a few other employees so that we don't have to work seven days a week. The good news is I can take Jackson to go and Dexter with me anytime I want to. Um, but with it being as rainy as it's been, and sometimes, or it's just too hot sometimes, just leave them be. But Dexter's done fantastic. He is uh, five and a half months old now, and he doesn't have to be in a crate. In fact, his crate's still in the bedroom, but we don't use it. So I need Adam to put that away. But no more crating. Even when we leave, he has free room of the house and doesn't do anything he shouldn't do. He, he learned very, very quickly, but I think it's because he was trained by two Aussies, right? Um, haven't had a lot of time to play out in the pool. Um, the few hours that we're off here and there is usually trying to get the lawn mowed, the laundry caught up, um, all of that fun stuff. I am planning today. I want to switch purses. I'm just feeling the need to go into something different for right now. And I am editing a video upstairs and that should go up maybe this evening. And when the rest of my Nordstrom stuff gets here, I don't want to, I don't have the time to do multiple Nordstrom hauls. So I'm gonna wait till everything gets here. And what I'll do is I'll show you what I've decided to keep. Um, Cause what I, when I place an order up for like for shoes, I place an order for a six and a half and a seven, depending because sometimes I'm either or. Most of the time it's a six and a half, but not always. Um, so because they sell out so quickly, I buy it all up front and then send back what I don't want. And I, I, I really they're slammed, so I don't know when everything will come in. I got a big, a big box and a, a one big box and one smaller box yesterday. I think I have like three more orders coming, and then I won't be placing any more orders. But like I said, some of that is for Christmas. Um, what else has been going on? I really can't think of anything else that's been going on. I've just been busy with family and work. So, um, I, my book, my Ipsy back. Oh, you know what? Ow. <laughs> Let's open my Norley box. All right. And you guys know how much I love the Norley box. I'm a little concerned about this one. Um, it's got like these fragile stickers all over it and the box is pretty bunged up you can see it's pretty bunged up so still curious to see what's inside and what made it okay i need to cut this side wonder if putting the fragile stickers on actually makes people the the carriers and the people who are sorting are they more careful or do they be like well screw you type of thing i don't know here is my list of my fun stuff. I'm gonna try to just pull it out of this box. Okay, this looks like it was packed pretty well. So this is the Bring the Tivoli Feelings Home with Design Objects by Norman Copenhagen. So if you don't know about the Norley box, this is a home decor box, but it's a Scandinavian. Um, Linda Hasselbach is the founder of Norley. This is the Gather Together Summer is Here. You can finally invite family and friends over for an evening in the backyard, dining, outdoor fireplace, talking and enjoying the summer evenings. While we are slowly getting back to normal, there still might be some limits on social gatherings. So getting together outdoor in your backyard, front porch, or on a deck or in a park can be the new go-to. Norley August Box makes it easy for you to make a little high get together, even if it's only for a glass of wine and some salty nuts. All right, so this sounds like it's gonna be like a little um, wine and nut case, nut, nut set. Let's take a gander. So this was done in bubble wrap, so hopefully, I, I can't remember the price of this box. It'll be in the description box below and I'll put a link to the Norley box. Um, this is a carafe. Let's 
it, it's wrapped really, really well. And it's, it is always wrapped really well. Oh my, I'm already liking what I'm seeing here. How pretty, oh my gosh, this is such my colors. It's Tivoli. Okay, it's the carafe. Water is vital during summer, summer, especially if you also drink wine. You can use this mouth-blown carafe in colored glass. I often add mint leaves for freshness, which I grow in my own mint, um, whether it's still or sparkling water. The Tivoli series from Norm Norman is a tribute to the old and renewed amusement park in the middle of Copenhagen. This value is $60. I love this. This is going to go in my, in my dining room. Uh, I have everything in there. It's like a charcoal gray and browns and creams. And this is going to go in there for having people over. I think that is so pretty. So th this, you can pour your wine in here and this can be your wine server. How pretty. Oh my God. I love that. I love that. What do we have here? So these are candles, tea light holders. Dexter is bouncing me. His, he's on my feet. So if I'm, if I'm moving around, that's because of him. Oh, I thought it was broken, but it's not. So this is kind of a smoky color, too. This is a little tea light holder. Are they both? Are there's two of them here? Okay, it's a set by Lingby. There we go. How long has it been since you've received candle holders in your Nordly box? Too long, I'd say. Adding Nordic life... Living to your life, you need light. Okay, let's try this again. How long has it been since you received candle holders in your Norley box? Too long, I'd say. Adding Norlic living to your life, you need to light candles any given, any chance given. It's just so Higgalite. The ones I have found for you this time are called Lingby, L-Y-N-G-B-Y, named after the northern part of Zealand in Denmark. The design is rooted in the Scandinavian design, heritage, and tradition. This is Dexter. This is all Dexter on the table down here. Um, created extra cozy atmosphere at home with the fine tea light holders and smoked glass and great evening color. I love these. I put just little tea lights in there. It's a $20 value for the set. All right, what do we have next? Okay, that's a corkscrew. It's a corkscrew. Oh, it is. It is actually a corkscrew. And I guess you put, you put that through there. Yes, there we go. That's how it works. I like that. It's this nice slim design. So want to serve a glass of cold wine to your guests? Do it with style. This cork so is, cork school is so cool. The design is focused on the basic function, hence the Scandinavian design mantra. Fo form follows function. Norman Copenhagen calls this series basic. The wine utensils made in the titanium coated stainless steel and silicone make it light and comfortable to hold with a satin like surface. Pour a tasty glass of wine for yourself and your friends. This is a $40 value. So this is like a brass color here, or copper or brass. And this is very this is the silicone part here. But look how little space this takes up. And then when you need to open your bottle of wine, just twist it like that. How cool is that? Dexter, what are you doing? <sighs> Telling you. That's really cool. So that's a $40 value. And there's still another item in here. Okay, it's got the, the packing material on it. It's, is that it? Let me just pull this aside, yeah. I mean, it's, it's coming a long ways when it comes to me, so. It looks like it's an apron. It's a bistro apron, and as you can see, my kitchen is cream and gray, so this is going to match perfectly. The apron shows the less is more attitude with only the raw edges as a refined detail. <clears throat> the apron is a collaboration between Bits and Sudol. Remember the teaspoons and towel in the apron box? I do. I love how this apron fits, and the color is very Scandinavian. It's little pieces all over it. Um, the fact that this is 100% organic makes it even better. I hope you will love this apron as much as I do. And this is a $25 value. So let me figure out how this apron. So here's the, 
It's not like a bib apron. I guess this just wraps around your waist. Let's see. So I'm assuming this is just to go around your waist when you're cooking or when you're baking. So I'm not gonna put it on all the way, but it comes down past my knees. And it's just, yeah, it's a very clean, basic design. Yeah, that's cute. Bits Sudai. Everything in this box, I know I've said this before, there's something different about this box. I don't, my house is not, thank you, Dexter. My house is not um, rustic. I don't have that farmhouse look that seems to be the rage. Um, that's, you know, all these boxes that come in have that feel and that's just not how I decorate. My house is clean lines, um, cool colors. How do I describe this? Hold on one sec. Okay, for those that haven't seen my living room before, I filmed in, I filmed in here before, but it's just very, um, I like shapes, I like clean lines. There's nothing that's really um, frou-frou. I mean, this, this whole thing here is from Ikea, this whole, but this is a giant wall. These walls are 20 foot ceilings, I think. And it was a giant wall, so no other piece of furniture would work here. So it's just a very basic. This little throw pillow here came from the Norley box. And then everything that's in here, most of this stuff are things that my mother has made or things that were my grandmother's. Those are Annie's ashes, my dog that I lost a couple of years ago. Oh, my vacuum's gonna go again. Um, I did have this shelf here built the very clean lines. I do have some little birds here. Um, and then in here, this furniture, we, it was our newest furniture that we purchased. Um, had all this made, came from Canada. I can't remember the name of the company, but I think it's the, let me try to get in here. I've got a baby gate here so the doggies don't get in here, or at least Dexter anyway. But, oh, looks like I'm getting a delivery. See if we can get the lights to work here. But you see, nothing, everything is very angular, very straight lines, uh, and nothing is over the top. I don't know how to explain my, my style. Clean, um, simplistic, and you can see, and here are the little handles on this, just the flat. We had these, and the colors, that is just like a, a gray brown. Does, does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know. My mother made this little bowl here. And there's one of my Scentsy warmers. But I mean, this, this is one of my favorite rooms in the house. So, yeah. And this is the new lighting that we got in here. Anyway, just trying to, I guess, kind of explain my... Oh, I guess I should turn off the light in here, huh? How I... How I decorate and then maybe it under he'll understand why the Norley box is so cool to me it's not the average so I mean where else would you find I guess, this is this is my style this is just a flat mask on my wall it's my decor um, in the kitchen yes you hear Bob my vacuum cleaner going but I have three dogs so this is my kitchen clock it is a working clock so that's just there's something about the way that Norley designs their stuff that just really resonates with me. It's, it's a very Scandinavian, very clean line design. So I'm going to stop recording for right now because Bob is in here and all my stuff is in here and he's loud, okay? Okay, so Bob went into the bedroom to vacuum and I came back in here. I want to show you where I ended up putting that little carafe. I will put tea lights in here, but probably um, some LED tea lights but I put it in my little cabinet. So this, my mother had scarlet fever when she was little, and this was her bell that she would ding when she needed something from my grandmother. This was a hairpin that my grandmother used. That is my cake topper for my wedding, and I'm very much about sea turtles. My mother made this. Can you be able to see this? Let's see. It's a baby sea turtle coming out of an egg, and for now I'm just gonna leave this little 
corkscrew right there with it. I just think it's really pretty. I love how it lights up with this cabinet. Watch out, Dexter. And this is just what else is in here in my little cabinet. That was my grandmother's china. I just kept one piece of it because it was very girly, very flowery. This is actually my china. Uh, Dexter's got the camera. Wow! My little, I've got the whole set, but this is the color. It was black and silver and white. It's my china. I don't even think it's popular to have china anymore. But oh, my mother made this little bud vase as well. One of the first roses that Adam ever gave me. That was my wedding bouquet. Silk flowers. Um, anyway. Matt, so let me go to the other side of the room. Watch out, guys. That's kind of what it looks like from here. Anyway, you can't really tell. But I will put the information and a link to the Norley box. I do have a discount code, so use that link and use my discount code for your first box. But watch out, guys. Mama's going to go turn off the light. Dexter's technically not supposed to be in this room, but it's just been the rule all along. But All right, let's see. Come on, guys. Let's go this way. Come on. Let's turn off the lights. All right, come on, come on Indigo. Yeah, this is Indigo come. No Dex, Dex, Indigo come. I right, can go out the other way then. <laughs> all right guys, so that's all I really have to update with you right now. Um, I'm about to, I need to go upstairs and finish editing my Transcend video and get that uploaded. Um, yeah, and I guess that's about it for right now. I'll probably check in with you a little bit later today.